Welcome to another HTML and CSS tutorial from Code Essentials KE. Uh, today we are going to create tables in HTML or using HTML and CSS. But before we proceed, please make sure you give this video a like and also subscribe to our channel. Now to create tables using HTML, uh, the first thing we need to know or we need to do is to define a table tag. So to define a table tag, we just need to write table, table, and then under this table, uh, we are going to need uh, other elements. Let's say a table contains rows and also columns and some data inside the table. So we can say uh, this table we want to have two columns. So we can have uh, a table heading not a table heading but a uh, table row the first thing is a table row we need a table row so table row this way then under the table row uh, we need now the elements under the first row this is our first row so we need a um, uh, table heading the table heading and the heading is going to be student you can give it anything you want but for me i'm just going to name it a uh, student name student name uh then we copy this then uh the second uh, column is going to contain the course the course name sorry so the course name or the course that this particular student is undertaking um, but before that uh, let's give this a, a table some styles so we're going to define styles this is called inline styling so style and then uh, the style is going to take a width of a width of 50% that way and also uh, under this this table row so as you can see you have the table row our first row that contains table heading which is student name and the course name so we can reload this in our browser and see what is actually happening so open with live server and now you can see we have our h1 table in our website then you have the uh the heading student name under the course name now let's proceed uh we are going also to define another row but before that let's give uh, this table some styles so make sure you define styles immediately after the head of your html so as you can see I have my style elements here so I can say style and uh, table so we are going to give our table some style but under the table we, all, we also have a uh, table heading so I can say comma then table heading um, then give it some styling let's say border a border of one pixel one pixel then solid sorry 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 solid black then also let us give it some border collapse so I can say a border border dash collapse then collapse now let us open our browser and see some changes so you can see uh, we have our h1 table in our website then the first row has a student name then the course name now let us proceed to add some other important elements into our table now uh, after this after this table heading 
it does have another row so temporal temporal that way and now this is going to be the data in our table so you can say or uh, we can define another tag called demo data and this is the data so we can say we want to have our student name we can say James so the first student is James and James takes uh, another data so the course that James is undertaking we can say it is a mechanical mechanical engineering James is taking mechanical engineering now let us reload again and see Here you can see James is taking mechanical engineering but uh, the, the the course name is not divided because we haven't defined the CSS now let's go back to our styling and you can see we only have the table and the table heading now the table and the table heading are we, going, we are going also to define the table data so you're going to have table data this way so that the data is also divided now let us reload again and see now you can see student name course name then under student name we have james and james is doing or is undertaking mechanical engineering now you can copy this and paste several times so copy that and paste then paste so you are going to change this instead of james we are going to write um jim and jim is taking let's say electrical sorry electrical electrical engineering the electrical this is electrical electrical engineering then another student is let's say christine let's say christine and christine is taking um geoinformatics so geo informatics that way so this is geoinformatics now let us reload again and see what is actually happening now you can see uh, we have the table in our website student name course name table data is james first student second is jim third one is christine and their respective courses um uh, let's see if we can add other styles mm. now okay you can also add another styles if you wish to but for me i think this is all what i wanted to show you how to create our tables in using html and css so thank you for watching and um, don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and also give this video a like thank you